Alright guys, welcome back to Half Fast 719. Um, what we're going to be doing is a water pump on the dirty bike. So, basically, what you got to do is you got to take the bolt out of the Kickstarter, which I already did. It's a 12 millimeter bolt. Take it out of the Kickstarter. Oh, wait. Oh. I take the brake lever off. Um, take the Kickstarter off. Don't need no special tool, just rock it back and forth. In and out, maybe you do this. Kickstarter out, out of the way. So this is an 8mm um, socket, this is anything fancy, anyway, washer, make sure you wash that washer, I'm probably going to put some grease in this when I put it back together, um, let's see, got a plethora of sockets here. 8 millimeter, 14 millimeter, 12 millimeter, 10 millimeter. So, what I'm going to do is I have an empty bucket. I believe this one is the drain. I want to say that one drains it because it's got a copper washer. So, so that's not working. So this is, I am going to reuse this because I believe it's water wetter or one of those, one of those uh, brands. So anyway, just take it out. Mm, tastes sweet. Nice and sweet. So, pop the cap and it'll probably flow pretty good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So, look at the radiator cap. You can see kind of rubber in here. Anyway. Supposedly this is a kind of a routine maintenance, I guess. Um, I never did it on my dirt bike, on my 05 450, so I don't really know. So, let's see if I can lean the bike over. That seems like it's it. Okay. If not, I'll leave that here. Cracking all these bolts. So this, this hose right here is a 6 millimeter, or you could use the Phillips. I don't want to strip it out. Alright, we're loose enough. Take these eights off. So, looks like I'm going to have to take that off. In. Let's 
So we probably have to take that off. Take this off. So as you can see, got long bolts, short bolts, small bolts, tiny bolts. So those two are the same, that one's longer. O ring right there. Volter pump. Oh, yeah. You could tell this one's bad. It's got a lot of play. So I'm going to see if I can't break that loose. I believe it's left hand threads. So Lucy. I guess it's right hand threads. Take that off. See it's got a crush copper crush washer in there. So that's fine. Anyway, so now I gotta drain the oil out of the tranny side and then undo all these bolts all the way around. A lot of people take this off. I'm not going to take that off because I don't have a gasket for that. So I'll just take the little side case off. And, uh, and we'll see how this works. So, pretty much it. Pretty much it. Let's see what we got. See, really nothing. So, I'll zip those all off real quick, drain the oil. I'll be back. Alright, so it looks like this shaft right here. It's a new shaft. Looks like this. Okay, and that comes up. It's old, it's a new, got some wear marks on it. So I'll put the old there. Not quite sure how to take all this out. Um, but let's just see. Okay. Got this seal out. Oh, that seal shot. Shot, 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 shot. So we'll compare. Just compare parts. So this seal is completely flared out. I don't think it was pressed in all the way actually. Because it barely looks like it was in there. So there's that part. Um not quite sure how everything comes out, but Pretty sure you can use the bolt. <laughs> Let me see if I can't get a little tool that I bought from the Harbor Freight. I'll be back. Okay, so this is twice I've used this today. It's my little Pittsburgh slide hammer and bearing polar set. So what it's going to consist of is obviously this threads into there, this flares out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in there, get this little thingy. I'm not sure if it's getting on the camera or not. Yeah, for the most part. OK, 
Okay, so hold the case. Bing bada boom. Big bada boom. Okay, got that out. Screw that back in. Bearing doesn't feel too bad. But like I said, let's compare. Oh, yeah. So, new bearing, old bearing. Yada yada yada. Okay, and it looks like we gotta pull this seal out. I think that's the seal that actually goes. That went bad. So, mm. feels like. Do some redneck. Okay. That seals out. Yeah, you can see. I think it's pretty bad. This is the main seal. Um, and this one's pretty jacked up. So let's see. New versus old. Okay. Anyway, got that, got that. A little washer that goes in there. So now I gotta try to clean that weep hole out. So if you can see that weep hole. Oh, my back. That weep hole is pretty, pretty much plugged up. You can see all the gunk. All the nasty gunk in there, so let's see if let's see if we can't clean this up. I'm just glad it didn't go and get into the engine side. I don't think it did. I'm hoping it didn't. Because the fluid I drained out of it was pretty pretty watery. So I'm kinda hoping that I didn't it didn't do whatever I think it did. Whatever I'm trying to say. Alright, let me go find a piece of wire. See what comes out of there. I'll be back. Alright, so it seems like I'm poking at it. I don't know if you guys can even see, but it's almost like there's silicone in there. Because it doesn't want to go in there. Doing it from inside here. Yeah, well, let me go. I'm going to find a tiny, tiny little drop here. or something in there. It's either silicone or it's just rubber, but or rubber. If it's rubber, then it's like uh, glued itself to the side. Out. 
So that okay. Flip it through. Hope it goes all the way. Kind of see through the hole, but kind of can't. <sighs> okay, I think I got it all. So yeah, it, it just seems like it was a piece of the seal, or just rubber. Oh, but you can tell. Where the gasket is, it's right along the water pump, so you can tell that it's getting it was getting pretty hot because this gasket is like baked on there. So anyway, let me go ahead and uh, clean all this off, get it all cleaned up, get that gasket off of there, and uh, we'll do the assembly of all the parts, new parts. I'll be back. All right, guys, I got the seals pressed in. So, i show you guys something real quick. So, that seal right there, you'll want to put the spring side. There's a little spring inside there. You want to put the spring side up. So, flat side down. And then, on the back side, you want flat side down here, too. So you want the spring inside to keep the oil and you want the sp spring outside to keep the water in here. So I got those pressed in. They weren't that bad, but you can tell. <clears throat> you can see that lip right there. That lip means it wasn't pressed in all the way or maybe it came out because it should sit flush. It's hard to hard to see it, but this seal needs to sit flush. And this seal that was in there was not flush. So nothing my brother-in-law did, obviously. Because I don't think he ever took this apart. So it's just a bad deal. So um time to Put the bearing in and I'm just using a socket this is a craftsman 19 millimeter socket and that's what I use to tap the seals in because that's what fit in there probably a 20 millimeter would probably be best but it is what it is so what I got, there it went in, here we're flat, as far as I can go, and here it's just metal to metal now, I can't go anymore, so that's that. Seals in. So I did put grease on the bearings already. So on the seals, I mean. So they're already pre lubed. So I'm just going to spin this as I put it in. And we'll come out this other side. Bada bing, bada boom. And feels feels good. So now we'll take the new crush washer, the little copper washer. Drop that out. Stick it on there. And 
we got the impeller with the old copper washer and remember this threads on so you can take a wrench on the back side here and you can tighten it with a 10 millimeter I'm gonna go see if I have a wrench I don't know if I have something that small Probably just use a little crescent wrench. Yeah, I'm not gonna have anything that small. So, take our 10 wherever it went. Here. I believe it's a 10. Is it a 10? Yep. Take a 10. Put her over here and take a crisp wrench, tighten that thing, and you don't need to go too crazy. Okay, that's crazy enough. Hoping that that doesn't push in because if it does, it drags even with that crush washer. So let me go ahead. I'm going to put some grease on this kickstart seal, and uh, pretty much, pretty much that's it. Put the gasket on, which looks like I'm going to put the gasket on here because I have dowels. So I might as well just. Gasket out right now. So, just don't cut the gasket. Nice and easy. And you do not, you do not need to uh, put any sealant on this gasket because it comes basically with that black right there. That black is kind of like a silicone. So gasket put her on where the dowels are dowels 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 and ooh, dropped it almost lost it Love you guys this crawl over here and uh yeah everything everything on here is already clean Wipe it down real quick. You do want to have the bike leaning a little bit that way. Just in case there's... Crap. What's that? Anyway. But yeah. That's pretty much it like this watching your gasket watching that hole move this hose a little bit anyway, mainly just want to watch your gasket and uh, might have to spin this to get it locked in there That seemed like it pushed it out. So now you gotta figure out all the bolts. So long bolt obviously, it's gonna go through the long. And then these all pretty much, all these bolts look the same. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw them on there real quick. That one, one's a little bit longer. So that one is gonna go longer. 
on that one. Oh. I don't know. That one might be for the water pump. But we'll find out. One doesn't fit. They should all st be sticking out about. So it's gotta go there. So they should should be sticking out about I don't know half inch before the first thread. Assuming it's five ugas, I'm gonna put this on one. So it doesn't really do anything. And then uh, I'll look up the specs. Take the new water pump cover gasket. Take the old one off. Stick the new one on. Stick this bad boy on there. Probably not good. I'm gonna put some grease on it so it'll stay. More grease, more better. That's what my uh, friend Wayne over at the Ram Man. All he says. So, just gonna put a little grease on this so it'll stick. Okay, we're stuck. And got the dowel still in there. Towels in there, everything's good. Take the long bolt. Oop. I know you're the long bolt. Okay. These two. This one, this one. Then this one. I'm gonna go get a new, a new copper washer. Oh man, my back. So I just got a little package of these little crush washers, aluminum and copper. That one. It's all good. It's all good. Zipper in. All right, I'm gonna find the torque specs, clean up some junk around here, and uh, start filling it with coolant. Run the bike, and oh, I gotta put oil in it. Run the bike and see how it does. I'll be back. 
All right, guys, looked up the torque. It's 10 big Newton meters. 10 Newton meters. So that's 975. Which tells me it's barely got anything. So that's 10 Newton meters. So we're just going to go. That one. I'll just probably go around it twice. Try to remember which ones you took off. Alright guys, <clears throat> battery died last night, it is the next day, um, oh, I'm just gonna check it real quick for the leakings, <clears throat> um, I torqued everything down to 10. Newton meters. It looks like I got a leak. Uh, nothing on the weep pole. I think it's just overflow from when I added oil. I hope. If not, then something else is leaking on it. Cause I, like I said, I torqued them all down. Um, yeah, I don't know, but anyway, I checked the temp when I ran the bike, the temp was about 100 and, 120 something degrees Fahrenheit, and uh, the thing was just spewing coolant out the overflow, and uh, kind of thinking that this uh, radiator cap is shot so if you look at it you see it's all looks like it was cooked um yeah I'm gonna have to look into that oil leak because I did uh, I did hose the bike or didn't hose the bike down but I sprayed it with some uh, some brake clean and uh, yeah, it's still leaking, or it is leaking. So I'm kind of wondering if the gasket, something's something's wrong with this gasket, um, which I don't think it was. I cleaned the surface of both both the case and the uh, other thing. But anyway, I'll look into that a little deeper. So anyway, I ordered a uh, <clears throat> a 1.8 cap. So this is a 1.1 1 .1, uh, radiator cap. So I ordered a 1.8 cap with a thermostat on it. And uh, because I think this was like 12 bucks. And then the one with the thermostat, it's a Tusk. Which I don't really want to use, but it was uh, between Tusk and G&S. And G&S and Tusk were identical. I think it's just rebranded. Um, you can see the stickers look just like different stickers, um, but everything else is the same. <clears throat> so that way I can keep an eye on the temperature. So anyway, it's all done. Um, 
I think the biggest problem with this uh, water pump was that seal. You see the lip on that seal that's right there. That seal, I don't think, it just wasn't pressed in all the way. Or maybe it pressed out. Um, but anyway, I'm going to keep these as, as a spare. Uh, I think the shaft is good. It's got a little wear on it. But I don't think it's anything that's going to make it not function. The bearing feels fine. So if I have to do it again, I just have to order seals and a copper crush washer and a new gasket. So, uh, one thing I did also last night was I put these on. The little Motion Pro. Motion Pro uh, air bleeders for the forks. Um, they go on really easy. So now I don't have to uh, undo a screw and let it bleed as I'm riding or whatever. I can just push it and it'll... So, anyway, that's going to wrap up this video. It's the next morning. Um, I kind of don't want to open the garage. It's another reason why I wanted to stop yesterday. It was just so windy. That I was getting all kinds of dust and dirt in here, in the garage. And, uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't want to go get a new battery and uh, pick up where I left off. So, I just wanted to finish it and go in the house. So... Anyway, that's going to be it. I think it's uh, going to start raining. Um, actually, I hear rain right now. Go check out the room. Wife. The wife's doing some mud and, mud and stuff for the drywall. But yeah, you can see the window's wet. So, good thing I got these all sealed up. Everything's good. It's actually quite a bit warmer in here. I think it's actually warmer in here than it is in my house. Um, but, yeah. Anyway, hopefully it doesn't snow. Hopefully it does snow, but hopefully it doesn't because I gotta go pick up some boots. Some dirty bike boots. Um... But yeah, that's pretty much it. Right, guys, long video. Sorry for the long videos, but they are what they are. And uh, maybe I'll go ride this thing when I get home. Since it's a perfect time, perfect weather to go ride. It's not hot. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll go ride. Alright guys, we'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, do what you guys do. Later.